Colonial River Gorge, Part One. Here we got itself a UP uh, mixed freight westbound, a Jeeva with two dash nines on the point. Sometimes these trains have to make a, a stop in uh, Dallas, Oregon, if they need a, chain, a crew change, they can do so. So this train is going to make a bypass through, through on Dallas. Oh, same location. So a different spot. So still near Biggs, and we're gonna self a UP at the model eastbound. Three G rolls and one dash nine on the point, and we're gonna self a meet with a uh, eastbounder. This uh, westbounder, uh, uh, we're gonna UP mix freight has a one G roll and two SD70 max on the point. This is the only section that has the double track from Biggs okay, the in the outskirts of Dells. I don't know if you can see it, there's two more Back in helpers at the end of that westbound UP mix freight. Two SD70 ACs. Silos are this behind us, and we got ourselves a East Boundary Mix Freight Dash 9 and 2 SD 70 Max on the point. Gvos are on the point. We heard a crackle on the scanner. We rushed back to the Moody sub 
Yeah, we got ourselves a southbound Venus FMX freight. Um, uh, nearby the Deschutes River uh, recreation area. I hear some freight cars going by, and there was a westbound UP going by our location. Locomotives are on the point. Dash 9. Two Dash 9s and one Chivo is in the lead. Uh, freight trains going over Moody. It requires a back end helper. There could be one at the end of this BNSF mixed freight. We just have to see if there is a back end helper. I was correct. There's a back end helper. Uh, other dash nine. We had a rush to get back to Biggs where the grain s silos were. A UP Westbounder uh, approaching this location. Two dash nines. One SC-70 AC, two GVOs, and a GP-39 on the on this UP mixed freight westbound. You fucking moron! This no. Um, GP-38-2s became GP-39-2s.
this jumped across um, Oregon side to the Washington side the, um, the location named Avery and we got ourselves a minutes away crew here usually when they're working on the tracks somewhere along the line it will back up trains so this will give us the opportunity this wait here for a train to show. I guess this minutes away crew is testing on this railroad crossing here. So he's gonna make a reverse move and come back and see the crossing works uh, correctly. Oh, we jump back to the spot where we were earlier uh, nearby the Schutz River uh, recreation uh, area near the Moody Sub. And there's a BNSF crew issuing a track warrant to hit, hit southbound. So we're gonna wait here and wait for it. Here they come, working hard. And there is a new locomotive on the consist with the other three locomotives. I'll let you know. one is the third, very quiet locomotive, and also a GP38-2. The new locomotive on this point is the new one for this year for the BNSF. It's a TR4. It's a EMD SD70 ACE T4. That was the third unit. If you want to look up this locomotive, please do so. And this is a BNSF uh, southbound Mixed freight. Like I said before, most BNSF freight trains have to require a back end helper. And there is one on the back end, it's a other GVO. Remember at Avery, Washington, and those men as away crew was working on the on the crossing over there? Well, we moved down to East Isle, and there was at least about four trains held back from those men as away crew. So there is a train approaching us, and it's gonna get here pretty soon. Hey, 
westbound BNSF Cold Drag with three GVOs are on the point and there is and there's one more unit at the back end. game on this D60 and it shows really Ken Nola's in the back part of that locomotive. After this cold drag went by, there's a other westbounder is gonna approach. A westbounder being a Zef, uh, grain train is yeah, back approaching. In here really quick has two GVOs are on the point and there's a third one on the back end I'm not sure if it's a GVO or not let's have to see when I get closer Westbound uh, grain train approaching. If you guys, if you guys, uh, you wonder what that sign is on on the left. I guess it supposed to be um, the train have to check their uh, certain point of their speed when they're approaching. I guess the end test. Uh, I think that's what. What I think it means. This one doesn't have a back end helper. Two 
G Vols on the point, and there could be a other um, one at the back end of the train. Soft spot. Every time the truck goes over that soft spot, soft spot, and the pipe plates, uh, the bolts are loose. Usually, when there's a soft spot in the roadbed, the railroad have to come along and resurface the track, or the tie needs to be replaced. So the I think the BNSF should take care of this uh, pretty soon. If they don't want to have a mess on their hands. A Jeevo on the back end. Back end helper. Okay, there is a westbounder uh, BNSF mixed freight. One G1, one dash nines on the point. This one's moving pretty quickly. Okay, we got those four trains at East Lyle, and we move to Dallas, Oregon, to get this UP Colbeck's um, train. It's a westbounder. It's got Kitty and Power on the point with the UP Jevo. Well, Kenny Pacific can't change the looks of the uh, a GE. Uh, Jeevo. 
So that's what they would call it, call it if they were down here. And probably the Canadian Pacific probably is calling their G volts a little differently. guys you probably is wondering what's wrong with the, the audio um, on my camera I haven't heard it before I don't know why it's doing this so please forgive me and um, because I can't I can't help it with the, the audio or the making the this weird sound in the background this is gonna be my last day filming the trains in the Columbia River Gorge I hope you guys enjoy this video and a lot of railroad actions here in the gorge if I was you I would uh, make a trip down here and see all the good actions from from the railroads and some cool locomotives Thanks for watching.